Pfalz hat sehr eine spezielle Landschaft. Vals has a very powerful and archaic landscape. Visitors who come here are quickly given the impression that this valley and village lives from stone and water. Das Dorf lebt von Stein und Wasser. In den 60er Jahren ist ein Herr aus Deutschland, der Herr Vorlop, in der Schweiz. In the 60s, Mr. Forlop, a German gentleman, was traveling around Switzerland looking for mineral water springs. He happened upon Vals and constructed a hotel complex, which remained unchanged until 1994, when we started to build this new thermal bath. The mineral thermal water here is very good for your skin. It's good for your peripheral nervous system and good against various rheumatic diseases. But first of all, it's wonderful for bathing, as it's very relaxing. The original idea was to build the bath into the mountain by hollowing out dens and grottos. Soon we saw that this couldn't be carried out technically and so we decided to construct an artificial mountain by piling different layers of stone on top of each other. The stone comes from a quarry two kilometers further up the valley. So. They started here in Vals, I think, uh, 200, 300 years ago to use uh, stones and slabs to cover the, the roofs here. And so in our village you can see yeah. houses that have the same uh, slabs on the roof, about uh, 200 years old. A lot of our stone uh, is, uh, is quartz, is quartzite, and so we have really a high uh, specification about pressure or frost resistance, and we can say it is a stone of high quality. We take dynamite to blow up the stone by dynamite. Uh, we transport the blocks to the cutting saw and then we cut uh, a block in the different slabs and tiles. I hope the farmers in Vals can continue living and farming here for as long as possible. The way they work has remained very archaic, which to me is one of the highest qualities of Vals.